Luis de Lose is one of the best selling espresso machines on the market. And it's not just because of its low price. It also provides an excellent espresso and milk foam. And that's what we're gonna take a look at today. I want to introduce this little machine to you guys. I'd like to show you how to make an espresso and cappuccino in its stock form. And then I would like to show you how to do the same thing in advanced mode and show you how to get the absolute best out of this machine. So let's get started. This machine right here is pretty nice because it comes with a nice warming plate on top and it's uh, metal. So that's good for warming up your cups. In addition, it's got a one liter water tank, which you can remove and fill up. And it also comes with two baskets. These are pressurized baskets. As you can see here, that's what it looks like on the back side there. It's pressurized. Here, this right here is the double and this is the single basket. We're gonna just use the double today. So the operating of this machine is very, very simple. It's just got one selector switch. You can move it either to steam mode where you're going to increase the temperature of the boiler up to steaming. On the other hand, you can turn it the other direction for the pump. Now, one thing that really sets this machine apart from some other ones is that this right here is a heated brew group. Ooh, it's, it's hot. So why does that matter? Why does a heated brew group make a difference in your espresso? Well, it really does because you want the entire path to be around the same temperature. So from the boiler, down to the brew group, to the porta filter, and into the cup. You want that to be as close to the same temperature as possible. That's going to give you an excellent espresso extraction, and this machine provides that, so that is excellent. On the side, it's got this lever here to turn on steam mode. And finally, it's got this little drip tray, this little guy right there. Now guys, if you're getting any value out of this video, please give it a like. And if you'd like to get more tips and reviews on machines like this one, then consider subscribing to the channel. All right, now here comes the fun part. Let's make ourselves an espresso. All right, so kind of the advantage of these little machines coming with pressurized baskets is that you can just go get yourself some pre-ground espresso Put it in there and you can already make yourself an espresso. You don't need a grinder for that. So we're gonna go ahead and see how much we can fit in there. It's eight grams. Let's try for 12. Come on. All right, 12 can fit in there pretty comfortably. I'm just gonna wanna kinda tap on the porta filter a little, a little bit to get it evened out and give it a tamp with the included tamper. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's make ourselves an espresso. That looks pretty good, just like that. All right, and that is what the espresso looks like right there. Pretty good crema on there. All right, now let's go into steam mode and make ourselves a cappuccino. To do that, we are gonna pour about the pitcher halfway, it's about 150 milliliters of milk. We're gonna put our machine in steam mode and that only takes about 10 seconds or so to get heated up. Don't wait for the light here. You don't have to wait that long. Let's go ahead and purge our wand. And now we can get started. So you can see that the Panarello injects milk right away and you wanna try to get it spinning if you can. Not that easy to do with the Panarello. Okay, that's plenty hot. So after having steamed, you're gonna to wanna to cool down the boiler by letting some water in. Okay. And we will pour our milk on top. There you go. One cappuccino made in the stock mode. Now let's see what we can do in the advanced mode. All right, so for advanced mode, we have to do a couple of things. We have to switch out this pressurized basket in this porta filter with a non-pressurized one. This right here is what a non-pressurized basket looks like. It's got holes on both sides. 
And this bottomless portafilter allows you to see the extraction. So let's put that one in there and let it get nice and warmed up. The next thing we're going to do is upgrade the steam wand simply by pulling off the Panarello. And now I'm going to put a cable tie on there. And the purpose of the cable tie is to keep this nozzle on while we're steaming because otherwise there's so much pressure that the nozzle flies off. So this way it stays on. So those are the first two steps that you need to use this in advanced mode. A non-pressurized basket and making this adjustment here to the Panarello. And there's one last thing we have to consider. What else you got to do is provide this machine with a good fresh bean ideally and with a good grind. Okay, and so for that, I am going to use this little grinder here. This is a King Grinder K2. This can be had uh, for a very, very good price. So I've already got it dialed in. I've got it turned to, basically from the end stop, I got it turned one full revolution around the circle. And that gives me a good extraction here. So let's put 15 grams of beans in here Grind it up and I'll show you how to do it. These are a medium or slightly darker roast. Now let's do 15 and a half. All right, so here we go. Now it's time to prepare the puck. By the way, I've got this WDT tool right here, which is very helpful in helping to distribute the grounds. And these are not expensive either. So let's go ahead and prepare the puck. Let's wipe out any condensation in the basket. All right, our fresh, freshly ground coffee beans right here. So one thing that you can do first is just kind of tap it to get everything nice and level. And then if you have a WDT tool, you can go ahead and just kind of distribute the grounds a little. Make sure that they're nice and even, that there's no clumps. It's not an absolute must, but it can help your extractions a little bit. Let's give that a good tamp. And now let's pull ourselves a shot. All right, let's see what this shot looks like. Ooh, that is looking delicious. Okay. So that is what that shot looks like. Real creamy, delightful. And how's the taste? That is a tasty shot. All right, let's go ahead and steam ourselves some milk for a cappuccino. All right, so same thing as before, we're gonna fill up our pitcher to about the bottom lip there, the bottom nose, put our machine into steam mode. Let's let a little condensation out. And now we can go ahead and steam. So you want to inject some air right away in the beginning and get a swirl going, as you can see here. I'm just at the tip of the milk and if you break this into quadrants, I'm in this lower quadrant here in order to get that milk spinning. And once it is rolling really well, just have to wait for it to get up to temperature. That is plenty hot, just like that. Let's cool down the boiler a little bit by adding new water. And you can see that now really looks great, like paint. So let's go ahead and pour ourselves a cappuccino. That is our espresso from before. And here's another tip that you can do to get your milk incorporated even better from top to bottom. You can pour it from one container into another and now pour your cappuccino.
that is the DeLonghi Silosa shown in the basic mode and in the advanced mode. I hope this video was helpful for you and if so please give it a like and uh, check out my other videos. If you like what you see subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And until next time I say happy coffee drinking and happy cappuccino drinking. Bye now.